On this day in 2004, Bernard Hopkins knocked out Oscar De La Hoya to become the first undisputed champion in the four belt era. Following his loss to Sugar Shane Mosley, the Golden Boy decided to move up in weight and challenge middleweight kingpin Bernard the Executioner Hopkins. Mind you, Hopkins hadn't lost a fight in nearly 11 years and was currently on an 18 fight win streak. Now, before the two legends could officially square off, they had to headline the same card at MGM Grand Las Vegas in June of 2004. Hopkins ran it back against Robert Allen for a third time. De La Hoya faced off against Germany's Felix Sturm. Hopkins dominated Allen in a one sided decision. Meanwhile, De La Hoya went to hell and back with Sturm and was awarded a highly controversial decision. Everyone thought De La Hoya was going to try and Box Hopkins, but he shockingly came out as the aggressor, while Hopkins had a more tactical and cautious approach. Hopkins found a home for that right hand, and his strength started to become more evident. In round nine, Hopkins finally landed that left hook to the body, forcing De La Hoya to go down. He was rolling on the mat in clear visible pain and could not beat the 10 count. In what would be Hopkins' final KO victory of his career, he was now the undisputed middleweight champion of the four belt era.